Hey YouTube, this is XBlogRex here. Uh, today I'm going to show you something really simple that I never knew, and it's really useful. I just found out how to do this yesterday. Right here, this is my one terabyte external hard drive, and I really don't like this icon that's right here. I just really despise this. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this. Now this is relatively simple. What you're going to need is an icon that you actually want to change it to. In this tutorial, I have this red version of the actual hard drive I own. I really like it, so I like the red. Red's my favorite color. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually open up my hard drive here. And we're going to right click, new, text document, and name it autorun.inf. And it's going to ask if you want to change it, hit yes. Now, right click it and open it up with uh, notepad here. And in the very first line, you're going to write this. Auto run, just like that with the brackets. Then you're going to hit enter and then type in icon equals and then the name of your actual .ico picture that you have. It's, an, it's a .ico icon format. So mine is named external underscore hard underscore drive dot ico. So that's what mine's going to be. And I'm going to file, save that. And then I'm going to take my picture here, which is external hard drive dot ico. And I'm going to drag that in here. Let me just move this down here so it doesn't look stupid. Well, that's that. So now, if you go up, it's still not there. And you don't see the icon. You're like, what the hell? So you hit refresh, and it's still not there. So what you're going to do is you're going to disconnect your hard drive. See? You're going to disconnect your hard drive. If yours is an internal, you're just going to have to reboot your computer. And then you plug it back in. What that'll do is it'll totally refresh it, and it'll run the actual auto-run file that we just made. So when it actually connects, it'll be the icon that we just put in there. But the only other way that you can do that for an internal is to reboot it, but the only reason is because that disconnects it and reconnects it again, just like what we did with the external hard drive. See? Right there. There it is. There is my awesome new icon that I just put down. But now another thing to clean this up, now we have this ugly file, auto run and external hard drive.ico. What you're going to want to do is right click that, go to properties, uh, hidden, apply, okay, right click it again, properties, hidden, apply, okay, and then now, go up, and if you go back in there, you won't be able to see it. So that'll just make it a little bit better. I mean, they're still there, if you ever want to, like, actually get them off there and you don't want that icon anymore, just go up to the, up top here, to the toolbar, click tools, folder options, view, and then down here where it says hidden files and folder, click show hidden files and folders, apply, and OK. And then it'll let you see those files again, so you can change them around and do whatever with them. Alright? And then to hide them, just do what we just did, just do it backwards. Alright, this has been XBlabberX here. This is a very simple tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It helped me a lot yesterday. I finally figured it out, so. Alright, this has been XBlabberX.